Hello, and welcome to Argus Cool Game Facts. This week, we are going to be covering a game series I love, and I have played, really, pretty much all of them. Um, just not the newest one. And that would be the Devil May Cry series. The original Devil May Cry came out August 23rd of 2001. It starred Dante, the half-demon demon hunter, because, well, we don't have enough of those. I mean, come on, Blade, the half-vampire vampire hunter, vampire hunter D, the half-vampire vampire hunter. Sure, well, let's give us a half-demon demon hunter. Probably have some of those others that I, can, I just can't think of any off the top of my head, so... It, the game was created by Capcom. Yes, the people who made Street Fighter, the people who made Resident Evil, those guys. Why haven't I done a video on Resident Evil or Street Fighter yet? Well, I guess it's going on the list. Number one. To unlock easy mode, you can just die a bunch of times and keep continuing, and it'll eventually I'll give you an easy mode unlocked. So if you really genuinely suck at the game, you can still beat the game. They just have to lower the difficulty to your standards. <sighs> The cool thing is, is if you beat the game over and over and over and keep raising the difficulty, uh, you can keep raising the difficulty all the way up to Super Dante, which I think is like the fifth or sixth. I, yeah. Number two. This is more relevant for uh, the re the HD rem remastering, but the achievement titles are pretty cool because you get some achievements like. The Devil Made Me Do It, or The Devil Went Down to the yes, 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 after the song. The Devil Went Down to Georgia. He was looking for a soul to see it. Mm -hmm. Number three. The game was originally supposed to be Resident Evil 4, but thanks to the fact they kind of got carried away and ended up going a different direction with it, they eventually realized, this isn't a Resident Evil game, and they're like, hey, can we make this into a different game? Can you just do something else with this? And so, Resident Evil 4 ended up being created at another point in time, and we got Devil May Cry. Number four, Dante's name comes from the Divine Comedy, from, um, Don from, if you recognize that, the game, Dante's Inferno. The game is based on it old poem, The Divine Comedy, and that's where Dante gets his name, which is why you have Virgil. The spelling may be different, but that is actually where they, the naming comes from. Not much else. Number five. He is the second son of the demon Sparta and the human Eva. In the DMC reboot that I will cover at a later point in time, Eva was an angel, but for the original series, she was human. I guess the remastery had to make him even more OP by saying, well, let's go ahead and make him half angel, half demon. Where have we gotten this before? <gasps> Little Nicky! Dante, give me some chicken! Video games copying Adam Sandler. <laughs> Number six. Creating a fresh game save file on Devil May Cry on the PlayStation 2 memory card, and then going to the file, uh, going in there, and you'll see the data as a chibi 3D model of Trish. Attempting to delete the file will have Trish putting her hands on her forehead and shaking her head in disappointment. If you try to copy the file, she'll pump her arm in the air in excitement. During the copying process, she will start to dance. Yes, Trish gets excited. I'm oh God! Run away! I miss back in the day when the save files were were kind of creative and goofy like that because you looked at them all the time on the memory cards. You don't really do that so much anymore. Number seven. Dante apparently really likes Jack Daniels since it can be seen on his desk in most of the games and other media. Do I have to say it? Devil May Cry 2 was released January 25th, 2003, direct sequel to um, Devil May Cry, so to speak. Um, it was not uh, well received. Eight.
<sighs> Despite the success of the original Devil May Cry, Hideko Kiyame uh, was not brought back for the second one. Much to his surprise, and really, I guess, anyone else's surprise, uh, they didn't bring back this, him as a director or anything like that. In fact, they didn't really know anything about it till later. Um, I guess that kind of shows why it kind of bombed. 1.7 million copies. Yeah. That's really all I could find. There wasn't a whole lot available for DMC2. I refuse. I'm on strike. Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening came out February 17th, 2005, and, well, yeah, it, it wasn't that bad. Number 9! Yeah, I know, Not it's actually the first for the game, don't pick on me. Um, fact 9. In the room with the shotgun, there's a jukebox, and next to the slot machines, you have to smash to open the door. If you smash the jukebox, then you can hear battle music from the Devil May Cry 1. Number 10, see? In the original PS2 version, not the greatest hits, the original. If you spin the joysticks clockwise or counterclockwise three times, it will unlock a, a Super Dante mode and Heaven or Hell modes. This is an awesome in-game cheat that didn't come uh, that after uh, it was removed and then brought back in the HD version. Um, although it was changed to holding all four back buttons while pressing uh, up the left, uh, up and left on the D-pad and down and left on the joystick on the main menu. A little tricky. Um, although it unlocks everything, it blocks you from loading games, it blocks all achievements, so think of it like Grand Theft Auto and doing a cheat there. Sure, you have all these cool things. You ain't getting no achievements. It's a number 11! The special edition of DMC3 is the only one in the series with a multiplayer mode. To do this, the second player just must get another controller, press start, and uh, while the first player uses the doppelganger style after image, um, and while or, or during uh, Virgil's time joining the fight in Arkham, you can also um, have a second player. Oh, twelve no! Devil May Cry 3's Special Edition had extra content in its game modes, and it was shifted down so that its normal mode was actually more equivalent to easy mode, and so and, and, and there, so on and so forth. So, um, yeah. I told you, not doing it! Devil May Cry 4 came out January 21st, 2008. Wait, at this rate... I think we're due for a sequel any time now. Number 13. It is the only game in the series where Dante cannot be played. Well, not he's not the only main character. I should rephrase that. So don't run down there and tell me I'm wrong. He can be played at, I think it's at uh, Mission 14 is when you play him. Um, yeah, I did, it was annoying. Didn't really like Nero to begin with, but whatever. Like a good neighbor, 14 is there. Whenever there is a cutscene at the Devil May Cry, Dante's shop, um, there's a picture of ba of, the, of the movie poster. There's a movie poster for Beowulf on the wall. Talk about some cross advertisement right there. Ooh ooh ooh. Number 15 can't have it. It's mine. During the final cutscene, um. You can see Dante reading a magazine with the title Ebony and Ivory. In case you don't catch the reference, that is the name of his guns. Here's 16, the last one. If you play until you fight Barrow, watch the movie. Pay attention. When Nero does the blade thingy, 
you'll see a close-up of Burrell, and near him, there are two signs. If you look at the brown one, it says Mundus Village. Mundus was the villain, for, uh, was the demon from the first Devil May Cry game. So, some, a little bit of backwards referencing. Not, nothing too, not, not, nothing too flashy. Just some kind of cool stuff. Thank you for watching this uh, video. Please leave a thumbs up. And you can comment in the uh, below if you have, uh, if I missed any cool facts that, uh, or if you have any suggestions for another game I should cover. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and check back every Saturday for a cool game facts video. Until next time, have fun. Well, I have to get you up and shut the door. Mm -hmm. No, I'll take that, no.